Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock VMware Workstation Pro and the VMware Player. Now this is designed for Workstation versions 11 to 15. I've tested it on 16 and it seems to be successful. It also will work with the Player version 7 to 15 as well. I'll walk you through the steps to get this up and running, so let's take a look. So this installation is gonna be done on a Windows 10 PC. So I have Windows 10 and I've installed VMware Workstation 16 Pro. You can use previous versions of Workstation Pro and the process will be fairly similar. If you haven't already installed Workstation Pro and you're looking to do that, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through those steps. Everything we're doing will be linked in the description below, as well as a link to my homepage that'll walk you through all the steps step-by-step step if you prefer a blog format. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying my best to grow this channel as big as I possibly can. Okay, so here we are at the desktop of Windows 10. And the first thing that we want to do is unlock VMware Workstation Pro. Now, I already have it running right now, but by default, it's not going to accommodate a Mac OS operating system. Apple doesn't want it to run on anything but Apple hardware, so we have to run an unlocker so it can actually run on VMware Workstation. So you got to make sure that you shut it down completely. So we're going to exit out of here and uh, in the tray, make sure there's nothing in here. And you can also go into your task manager. So basically anything in here that has VMware in it, just kill it off. We don't want it to be running. And uh, we can then close it off. And then what we're going to do is download the unlocker. Now the unlocker can be found on GitHub. It's by Palo Projects, and these guys are geniuses. They've created an amazing tool that you can download. The latest release that we have here is version 1.13. We'll just click on that, and then we can just scroll down a bit here, and we're gonna download this file. I'm gonna be putting the address for this unlocker in the description so you can easily find it and download it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it, and here it is. I'm just gonna extract it. The the total size of the unlocker is 335 kilobytes. It's fairly small, but it will be downloading a 600 meg file to complete this installation. Next, what we want to do is run this unlocker. So here it is. It's the unlocker.exe. Uh, I recommend just running it as administrator just to avoid any issues. Get a prompt like this. You can just say yes to it, and it's going to go ahead and run it. Now, this file is a little bit over 600 megs. It will take a little bit to download and install on your computer. What I'll do here is I'm just gonna to skip to the end of when it's completed. Okay, the download has been completed and you can see that they have just listed out all the services they've automatically rebooted. So everything seems to be in order. We can hit enter and it's gonna quit. And now we're done with the unlocker. Again, you wanna make sure that you have your ISO already downloaded because that's what we're gonna be using next. So I'm just gonna minimize this window and go ahead and gonna open up VMware. We have the VMware Workstation Pro open and we're gonna be selecting create a new virtual machine. And we'll be using the typical and click on next. And what we wanna do here is we wanna browse and find our ISO file. And I have that selected and then you can click on open and we'll be leaving that as is and then clicking on next. And now you can see that the Apple Mac OS X option is now available. It wasn't available before the unlocker opened up this option. And now we can go down below and we can choose the version that we want to select to install any Mac OS versions. So that's how you do it. So that's how you install the unlocker inside VMware Workstation Pro. You can continue to install your operating system as normal. Everything we've done will be linked in the description below. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Please drop a like if you thought this was useful. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.